Hi, Paul Katroff with 423byland.com. We've been working on lot 151 for the past few weeks and I haven't done a final video on the property. You know, we've got caught up with other lots that we have got working on and we're done. Lot 51, in my opinion, it's our best lot. It's our, it's our favorite lot. And it's all about location, right? Well, getting at the front of the subdivision is extremely difficult to do. We have three or four lots at the front of the subdivision that you can choose from. I can't get any more lots at the front of the subdivision. These lots go very quickly when we do finally get them. So this lot is very close to the entrance. If you look behind me, you can see an RV right there and to the right, you can see mailboxes. That's the entrance. You can either go right or left to go around the subdivision. Now where I'm standing right now, I can see lot 151. That's how close it is to the entrance. Your benefits are that you don't have to fight bad roads for the next 20 years and you can quickly access the boat ramp and get in and out very, very easily. Obviously, it's the most popular of all the lots that we have. So I just want to show you how great 151 is. We're going to walk it, we're going to go over it, and we're going to see just how it came out. So once again, there's the entrance. Now check this out. There is lot 151. Isn't that cool? This person here is a part-timer. That's why the grass is grown up. I believe they come down once a year. We've already sold that lot on the corner and we've sold the adjacent lot. All the other lots are bought out. So if you want to get at the front, we've got two, three lots real close to the front entrance. Hey, let's go check out this property. By the way, when you come in the entrance, let me just pivot around one more time. There's the entrance. Make a quick, a quick right at the entrance and a quick left. Beautiful little corner house. And right there is the lot. Now we have already cleared this lot and we finished the final touches on it. I apologize about taking so long to get back with everybody. We had other lots that were being sold and I had to jump from lot to lot. But I'm very proud of this lot. It's my favorite one and I think it'll be yours too. All of our lots have for sale signs on them. They're all identical. We always maintain the front easement. I'm always cutting them down so that if you come visit the properties, you can easily find our lots looking down the street. Now check this out. There's lot 151. Real close to the entrance. Right about there. Right about there is a stake. It's lot 187. Pretty cool, huh? You can come in here and look at this lot. You can drive right down the street and go look at lot 187. That's cleared as well. All our easements are maintained, so they're all easy to find. Now just look at this. Beautiful property. Beautiful property. When I was clearing this lot, and I do my lots by hand. I don't have a dozer. I, I don't have that capability. But I do the best I can. Save you about $2,000, right? I left these two trees here because when you look at them, they're very large and bushy. Those are shade trees. Pine don't offer very much shade trees. So when I looked at this property, I didn't want to get rid of the trees at the front. Uh, right now it's 1210. You can see the shadow there. You can see the shade right here. And you can kind of see how it trickles right down the middle just like that. And of course it's a lot more shaded over here. I wanted this open so that you could back the RV on. You can go ahead and place your culvert in your drive. These trees, if you notice, are not dead center. They just left the center. That is fantastic. You know, if you had a tree right in the middle split the lot, that would leave you with roughly 20 feet in order to do your uh, driveway. But when you have a tree that's just to the other side of the center, that gives you that extra room. It just 
couldn't have turned out more perfectly than it is. Nice property. There are lots of big trees on this property. Everybody wants trees. When I first started out, I would drop these big trees. And then I realized, you know, people would say, hey, do you have anything with big trees on it? It gets hot here. Now there's a one that's leaning at the back, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. It's, it's right on the back lot line. And I think you got a few years left in that. This one's rotted, but it's very straight and I think you'd be fine with that. Yes, I would have that taken down in the near future. That's not something that I can do. I do burn piles and it would take me two weeks to burn that or I would drop it. But there's plenty enough room to get an RV right down the center. Check it out. Pretty cool. Now, we have found all four markers. It cost around $700 to do a survey and you don't have to on this lot. We found the survey boundaries for you. So we save you 700 there. We save you 1500 to 2000 on the clearing. I really enjoy showing a nice pretty property like this. I left some wood at the back for people that might want some firewood. And I put that on the back lot line. I purposely didn't burn that, let that dry out. Caddy quarter, it's a beautiful cabin. Uh, this cabin was brought in on skids. Gosh, it did a, it's a, just a beautiful, beautiful look. They've got it fenced in. That cabin, I think, is around 350 square feet, 400 square feet. The significance is, if you bring in a, a prefab on skids, there's no size restriction. They treat it as an RV or travel trailer. So if you're going to site built on this property or any lot in this subdivision, the minimum site built requirement is 600 square feet. I mean, that's small as it is, right? But if you bring it on skids, you can bring yourself in a little cabin. So as I pivot, you kind of get an idea of the shade. Now, it might be an idea to drop this. When you do the development, our guy Dave with the tractor will drop any extra trees that you want dropped. You know, I've done the bulk of the clearing, so they don't mind coming in and dropping a few trees. And you can meet with Dave, have him come out here. Dave is fantastic. And I think you guys will really enjoy. Dave and Val are really good people. And they've done our last 10 customers. Now, we sell to a lot of people with RVs. A lot of people with travel trailers. And one thing they always say to me, which in the beginning I, I was quite shocked because I'm, I'm not an RV person. I don't drive them very much. But they like it when there's an adjacent road like this. Because when you have a 40, 45 footer, it's nice to be able to come into, uh, uh, actually back out there or back in like this. It's nice to have that adjacent road somewhere in front of the lot. So it's kind of something to take in, take in mind there. But... We are very happy with the way this property came out. This is what the new owner will see from his front lot line. Really nice. The entrance is just right through those trees. You got a cute house here. Nobody lives there full time. I've only seen the people once in six months. There is an old mobile home there. But I never really see them either. I don't know what the situation is with that. About 80 feet away is another neighbor. Never met him. I've been clearing. Seems like to be a nice guy. You can see he's got the debris and the brush right there. He's, he's chopping and, and doing his summertime work. Oh, not, not to mention. You can't see it. But let me see if I can zoom this in. There we are. American flags. I love that. You'll find a lot of patriots in this subdivision. A lot of people that love the country and they love America, just like me, just like us. Anyway, this property is for sale at $8,500.
and we are fully done with this property it looks really nice the sign below mine is for Dave so when you get here you can call him you don't often need an appointment you can just say hey I'm in front of Paul's lot come over here and tell me what this is going to cost for Pat and everything uh, Dave lives in the subdivision He's not somebody on the outside that you have to make an appointment. He'll jump for you. He's great. He, we're always around here. Dave and I, we're always working around here. So, anyway, I appreciate uh, your patience and the, I appreciate the people that watch your YouTube videos. I really do. Because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in business. And... Well, you know, I can do nothing but thank you, and I hope that you come out, and I hope you like this property. Uh, 187 is behind me, 174 is behind me, right down that street. Easy to come look at multiple properties, but 423, buy land. Pretty simple, seven days a week, up to midnight. Don't worry, we don't have kids. I get calls at 11 o'clock at night. Prefer text messages, though. So if it gets a little bit late, midnight, just text me. I should be up. But anyway, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And this one's a wrap. My Paul Katroff with 423buyland.com. Right now I wanna show you an example of a fully done lot, a lot that's been finished. These are lots that we've sold. Dave and Val do a fantastic job. And this will give you an idea what your lot will look like when it's finished. All the lots look the same when we clear them. Real rough looking with uh, undulating ground and dips from trees that are falling over but when they're done I think you'll find that they they really do look super now right here is lot number 40 and we sold this lot and our customer came through and he used Dave and Val to do the development and they installed the dirt pad as you can see how nice this property looks well this had lots of dips and everything from trees that were falling over and gone so this is a beautiful example of a fully developed property okay so check this out when you look at now the homeowner has done a fantastic job of installing a fence uh, fences look great no matter how you cut the cake they're, they're beautiful and this customer was fantastic with us wonderful individual but you can see the freshly laid dirt you can see the elevation if you look at it the distance from the ground is this much higher so there's such great elevation, there's such great drainage. It really doesn't matter what the lot looked like before. In Texas, you have to bring in dirt. Now, I've had people say to me, well, Paul, what if I clear the land, pulled an RV onto the property and waited a month or two? No. The rate at which an item can sink is literally in 48 hours. We had somebody uh, sink an RV up to their axle in 48 hours. Uh, Texas dirt is fresh Texas dirt no matter how you cut the cake so all of our customers need to, to install dirt pads across the street is lot 57 and yes you know we've done really well this month and we've sold lot 57 beautiful corner lot come take a look at this pad uh, this pad was done I think within the last couple of weeks and they're pulling a unit on and this is a great example of a lot that you don't need to cover the entire lot with dirt it's up to you the more money you put in the lot, the more dirt you have. Dave and Val will tell you exactly how much dirt you need. So when you meet with them, you'll know exactly what they do. Now look at this pad. This is a pad just meant for an RV. It's beautiful, well done. It's beautifully sloped. It's nice and smooth. Look at the distance. It's about this high off the ground. That's the elevation. It's about, I'm gonna say about four or five, six inches from the ground beautiful elevation when they move their unit on here you're never they're never going to step off into water it's all going to drain out and that's what they do uh to my uh to the next door is another lot that dave and val finished and of course the people moved the cabin on these people opted not to do a single pad like you see here they said dave val we have the money just cover the whole lot with dirt you can't lose either way. It's all up to you what you want to do with your property. You do have to do the very least, which is a real nice pad like this, which is very inexpensive. So uh, back at this lot, I think it's just a great visual. This was just the most recently done lot. This is what your lot will look like that you buy from us um, when you're finished with it. So I want to thank each and every one of you out there for you know, watching our videos and spending time. Our lots are ready to go. We're ready to sell them. 
If you're interested, contact me or text me at 423 by land. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.